Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about getting the Force Pull ability from the Tomb of Mictral because it's still completely baffling me how players are unable to get this. I really don't think it's bugged to the point where you can't get it because there is one little bit of a glitch, but there is a workaround for it, and I'll explain that when we get there. But what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to get from the Mantis to both entrances. One of the entrances actually being the exit. I think the problem is that a lot of people haven't completed the puzzle that's inside the tomb. On the other hand though, there are players saying they've managed to get back out of the tomb and they don't have the ability. I don't understand how they've managed to get back out because you need to get that pull ability to finish the puzzle and get out of the tomb. So it might just be the case of needing to do a little bit more exploration. You might have to figure out the workarounds, like use the workarounds to stop the glitch happening so that you can actually access it. And well, I'm going to start from the Mantis, take you all the way to both entrances, then show you a little bit of inside the tomb, but I'm not going to take it into full 100% depth of showing you absolutely everything, how to complete the puzzle and stuff in this video, because otherwise it would take like 45 minutes. There are other videos on the channel, how to complete the puzzle, how to get from your Mantis back to your ship afterwards, and the walkthrough of where, like exactly where you need to go in order to get to the Force Pull ability room. So we're on the planet Zepho. I've explored every single planet in the game now. I've done the whole story. There's six achievements left that I have to get to have absolutely everything done for this game. So there will be a couple of shortcuts I'm using, but if you're this far into the game where you have to access the tomb, you should have already explored Zepho and you should have shortcuts unlocked. If you don't have the shortcuts unlocked, then you're just going to have to do a bit more exploring. It can take a little bit of time, but you have a hollow map. BD1 gives you a map that shows you the layout of almost everything. Like, I think, in fact, everything is marked. If we take a look at this hollow map, you can see it level by level. It's basically a blueprint of how this whole planet works, and it does the same thing for every single planet. You can even see the layout of the tomb itself. This is the layout of the tomb that's highlighted now. This bit here is where your objective is because it's an actual quest or part of a quest to go and get the pull ability. So the very first thing from the Mantis, you're going to go through this left side door. There's probably other ways to do this, but this is the route I've always used. I'm going to ignore all enemies. I mean, I don't really need to do anything anyway. I've got every single skill in the game, so I can just sprint, and Cal is going to automatically stop them blaster bolts hitting me. So we're going to carry on through the abandoned village. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to go across this bridge. Ow, that one hit me because I was doing a bit of narrow walking, like tight rope walking, whatever you call it, tight line, blah, blah, blah. Up this hill. And we're going to head to the right through this shortcut. My, my head's actually hurting. I, I don't know if this is bugged. I really don't think it is. Because everybody I know that's completed the story has the pull ability. They've not had a problem. But then at the same time, there could be a bug. Because there's so many people that haven't got the ability. But then I don't know how people are getting back out of the tomb with it. Because you need it to do one of the puzzles. Like to do the puzzle to get back out. So I'm really, really confused with this. We're going to carry on through the Weathered Monument. See, the, the main concern that people have, like, well, the main topic of the bug, if you want to call it that, is the fact that there's a red door that they can't go through. And I'm going to show you that exact door. And I'd like to tell you now that you never need to access that ever again. So, we're now in the Imperial Headquarters. We're going up in the lift. And from here, we're going to go left. We're going to slow down this fan. Well, we don't even need to slow down the fan. It's the other way. That's my bad. Go through this door.
There is an elevator here. If I show you on the map, this goes all the way down. And this is the red door that everyone seems to be talking about. It's the only red door here. So there's not another one that I could think of. And everyone keeps talking about this mossy hill that they keep sliding down. And they're saying they can't get back and they can't get through the door. So I'm going to explain exactly what happens through the story. And I'm hoping that if you follow this video, you will be able to go and get that ability. Okay, so this is the elevator that we come down. I haven't skipped any of it. I just killed the enemies that were here. And using our hollow map again, we are going to need to find this elevator here. So we're going to run through and we're going to navigate left. So literally opposite the elevator through this door here. The elevator's over there. We're going to turn left around this corner. You might have to overcharge that with uh, BD1. I'm going to ignore this guy. He's an absolute asshole. The entire time I was doing exploration, he was always in the way. Okay, so we're in the same room we was before. So there's been no more navigation. I just had to find a workaround because you're obviously not going to be able to pull that rope towards you. So the same room with that guy. Instead of using this because you can't make it with a double jump, you're going to drop down to the right-hand side. Then you're going to drop down again. I'm pretty sure you should have going up zip lines. I can't remember the story. But you're going to wall run. You're going to grab onto that rope. You're going to swing back. You can climb up on that wall if need be. And then you're going to come around this way. And I think this should be open. I'm pretty sure this elevator should be open. So we're going to go in, stand on the like pressure plate, and we're going to go down. When you do this through story progression, when you get down to this room here, you're going to have a mini fight with the second sister. You're going to get her health down a fair amount, and then you're going to, like, she's almost going to kill you. You'll slide back through this door, and then the power that's on the right-hand side, BD1 overcharges it, and closes this door off. At any point after that, you never ever need to access this door again. It can just be completely ignored. So what we're going to do is head back up in the elevator. And I'm going to go back up to the top bit of the Imperial Headquarters. I cannot stress enough how important BD1's holo map is. You can easily navigate through the entire game using this map. We're about halfway up the lift now. And when we get to the top, we're going to have to go, we're going to have to turn right. So, starting from the top of this elevator, in the Imperial Headquarters, the other entrance to the tomb is going to be out this way. You're going to have to jump across, wall run, and literally just navigate your way through here. Throw that guy off the edge. See, you wouldn't be able to do this. And this is the only way back into the tomb. So if you're doing exploring, if you're trying to get all the secrets and crates, then you're going to have to have the pull ability. So if, you've, if you're back out of the tomb without it, you have to restart your game. There is nothing you can do because you need that ability. And you won't be able to get back into the tomb if you don't have the ability. So, this is the elevator that brings you back up to the surface. We're going to go down into the tomb. This seems to take forever. Look how far we have to go down. And look how slow we are going down. So, I'm going to see you guys at the bottom. So, we're back into the tomb. And when you are in here, you have to get this ball onto this, like, pad so that this elevator comes up and you can get out. If this isn't here, you haven't done everything properly. There's more stuff you need to do in this tomb. It will be the case of exploring and figuring out the puzzles to complete. As I said, there are guides for them on the channel. 
So, coming through this part here, if, if you've been in the tomb at all, you should know this area. Around here, this bridge, there's a guardian at the end. That's your red door. Up, up there, that path there, that is the red door. If you look at the map, you're going to see coming all the way up here, that's the red door. You cannot get out that way. You should never be trying to go this way. I don't, I don't know what the mossy hill is, but if we do this quickly, we can jump across, and with the pull ability... It worked for me earlier. I can grab onto that ledge. But you can't jump up and grab that ledge. Even with a Jedi flip, I can't grab that ledge. When you get to here, if I don't fall through, because like I'm falling through because I shouldn't be going down there. When you get to that ledge, the very first time you come into here, you never need to go back up that hill ever again. You just need to swing through, and the rest of it is exploring this tomb and figuring out the puzzles. So we're going to head into the main room, because people have said they're stuck in here as well. In order to get out, you have to smash the... There's like a container hanging up that has the ball in, and you need to smash it from the roof. You need the pull ability, because you have to interact with this. You have to come over to here, and you have to plug this in. So that it lifts the thing, like the container with the ball in. So that it lifts it up to the roof. Then you have to do some stuff with the gravity. I'm going to quickly unplug that. So, in order to get back out, you have to have the pull ability. This box here, some players have said they don't know how to get it to this wall. Because if you come in here... And you interact with this button, which is pretty much the first thing you see before you see the box. So you interact. It pushes that forward. And it turns on the gravity. You turn the gravity back off. And you push. It goes back to the wall. That is your way out. That's how you can navigate around the rest of the tomb. And then, like, obviously, there's more, like, puzzles with the crates and secrets and stuff in here. Some of them are really, really cheeky. But all of this area, pretty much the whole lot, has to be explored. Like, this part, for forget this bridge. And, like, completely forget about it. Because once you come in, and you've got the crate from behind that guardian standing on that bridge, you never need to go near that again. But all the rest of this, the upper and the lower levels, need to be explored. And you have to do puzzles... In order to get back out. Now the only thing left. Is the fact that people can't get the pull ability. When they are on the platform you need to be standing on. Look in here there are walls. And these walls are moving if you haven't done it before. And I've showed the walkthrough of how to get here. Like from the main room we're in now. To get to these walls here. I've showed that in another video. It's actually in the video how to get the force pull. But these walls will be moving. You have to navigate past them. There's a little crack in the wall. You go through it. It leads you into this room. And you go around the side here onto this ledge here. This whole space here, which will actually be your objective, will have a platform that's being held up by four chains. One on each corner. You have to climb up there. There's ledges you grab on at the side. You navigate to the left. Then you pull yourself up onto the top bit. There will be some stormtroopers up there that you need to take care of. Then a ship's going to come flying in, drop off a purge trooper, and then after that scene, like after you kill that purge trooper, there will be a cutscene, and a fighter is going to come in, is going to shoot one of the chains, the platform is going to fall, Cal will lose his lightsaber, he'll drop the lightsaber or lose grip of it, and you'll go into the training scene with your master, and you'll learn how to pull things again. The only thing in this area that's stopping people getting that ability is the fact that sometimes the cutscene doesn't trigger. If you have a look here, there is a meditation ring back at the top. What you need to do for the workaround to get that cutscene to trigger is don't go up onto the platform, stand here. 
And all you're going to do is attract the attention of the stormtroopers. Right? I don't know if you can climb up on top and kill the stormtroopers, then jump back off. But a lot of people are saying, find a way to kill them stormtroopers. And then if the ship doesn't spawn in, what you need to do is once the stormtroopers are dead, get back off the ship, or if you're already standing here, make your way back up to the meditation ring, rest there so the enemies respawn and it saves the game, then go back down, jump up onto the ship, kill the stormtroopers again, and then it should spawn in the purge trooper, it should trigger the cutscene, and you should be able to get the pull ability. I can't think of a way of this being bugged because it's worked fine for me and everyone else I've spoken to that's completed the story, this has worked fine. And a lot of the complaints is people talking about this red locked door. And as I said, you never need to access that again. The only reason that was there was to save your life because the second sister was going to kill you. So apologies if you're not this far, like not that far into the story, but I needed to explain it fully and properly in depth because there are so many people saying they can't get this ability and I really don't understand how. So please, please tell me in the comments that this video has helped you get the force pull ability and tell me that it's not actually bugged because I'm not 100% sure there's been no confirmation from the devs. There's a lot of glitches and bugs and stuff in this game. I actually had my game crash earlier today because there was a part closer to the start of this planet where it spawns. There's normally five or six stormtroopers. When I run out of the door, there was about 10, 15. I hit the first guy because I was going to try and kill them all to get extra XP coming in for skill points because I only needed a couple more at that time. As soon as I pulled out my lightsaber and hit one, the game couldn't handle that amount of stormtroopers in one area, so it crashed on me. I've fallen through the map. There's texture glitches, like textures take forever to load in, textures are missing. There's a lot of bugs and glitches, and I'm really, really hoping this isn't one, because it's a key point in the story. You need that ability to get back out of this tomb, and if it is a bug and they've, like, they're not fixing it, then it's kind of bullshit because it's a game breaker 100 percent and players are going to lose hours and hours of gameplay just because of this so let me know how it goes in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really really do hope it helped you out i'm not going to be covering this topic anymore i will still respond to comments and stuff but there won't be any more videos about this tomb because i've covered everything there is from getting here and getting into the tomb getting back out of the tomb the puzzles how to get back to your mantis when you leave the tomb. I've covered it all. So that's going to do it for the video. Thank you for watching.